Carlist uprising, disaster. Carlists in the armed forces have united with the remnants of the Requetus to seize control of northern Spain. Carlist political organisations are taking over state authorities. The rural clergy are mobilising the masses and the pretender has flown in to Burgos to proclaim the beginning of a secondary conquista to reclaim Spain for a truly Catholic dynasty. Oh, the Carlists keep the uh, economic cooperation with the Italians and the Portuguese. Which makes sense. Which makes sense. So, here we go. The final straw poll. And after that, I will just be taking over everything. Alright. This is the moment of truth. No matter what, King Maud still wins. <laughs> That's true. That, uh, that is very true. King Maud will always win. Uh, I think I've seen the CNT get more than this. Or well, maybe not. And once again, I'll give you two minutes. So at uh, 54, I'll announce the results. Unless, of course, it's an overwhelming result. So get your votes in quickly, people. Chop, chop. I thought I have a feeling that this is going to be quite overwhelming, because it already is. So which will it be? Oh, one faction was overwhelming, but the others are actually making a comeback. I'm actually surprised the Kingdom of Spain is getting 18% of the vote. I thought they'd get a lot less. 17 votes so far. Not bad, not bad. Carlos kill people. You don't like to be killed. Sorry, syndicalists kill people. You don't like to be killed. Carlos for the win. Vote for those who will save you. Vote Germany. I mean, um, not Germany. All right. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Ten seconds. Five. Okay, and the results are as follows. 53% in favour of the Carlists, 29 for the CNTFAI, and the Kingdom of Spain with 18%. So we will be playing as the Carlists. Uh, oh, those are the Spanish forces. Do they become ours or are they just exiled? Yes, they're just exiled. Well, I, see, I guess war hasn't been declared yet. We at least start off with all the technologies that Spain did. Did Spain keep the ridiculous construction speed thing? Oh, they did. That's unfortunate. I would have liked that. Unless we can get our own. Nope. Assassinate the crown prince. But we will be doing the, uh, the Mediterranean block. Okay, so first things first. We need to get factories down. What is our capital? Burgos, of course it is. So I guess we'll get Castilla Vea. Or do we need factories? We probably need factories more than infrastructure. This is so... Yeah. We'll build them in Galicia because it's so far away. This is not optimal. We'll need to continue those two if we want to stay competitive. Radio. 
All right, let's see what happens. Give me some armies. Please. High popularity. The civilian support the ruling party has reached a high level, which influences our political power. Our political opposition is entrenched, and only the most divisive reforms need our personal investment. And that is because we are 75% in favour of this government. They're still at 56. 10% national unity. So the Kingdom of Spain would be relatively easy to kill. I bet it's as soon as he leaves that we declare war. There it is. After a century of struggle, the legitimate cause has again risen up to bring justice and Christian rule back to Spain. Kingdom of Italy, Austria, Portugal all like us. Germany opposes us quite heavily. And we declare war on the Kingdom of Spain. So does the CNTFAI, and the CNTFAI declares war on us. Right then, here we go. So we do have some political power which we could spend, although the only thing that we can do is assassinate the Crown Prince. You know what? Let's do it. Our agents believe they can kill the Crown Prince. This would clear help this would help clear the road to Javier becoming the king and put our enemies into chaos. Do it. One, two, three, four of you. Can guard the C N T F A I border. No, not the French border. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight will be needed in the south. And then we have got five additional in the south. So we're going to push south first. We're going to try and take Madrid as quickly as possible, kick out the Kingdom of Spain and hold the line against the CNTFAI. That is the plan, at least. We will need our best commander here in the south, which is going to be uh, Vidal, although he is a field marshal. I'd actually kind of prefer one of the non-field marshals. You're a trickster, which gives you re extra reconnaissance, and you are a commando. I'm going to give you that command, and I'm going to give Vidal the command over this side. Get Madrid first because of the factories, yeah. Drive trucks into Madrid. If only we had some trucks. Let's slow this down. Speed 3. Do we have any aircraft? Nope. Do we have any supplies? Nope. Oh, please tell me you're not just going to let me walk into Madrid. Please. Please, please. Come on. Good. We're getting a bit of an encirclement here. I'll take that. Just need to make sure we get something. I thought it cancelled that attack. You're leaving Madrid. Really? feeling this is going to be a short war. <laughs> oh, 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 why? I'm really tempted to reload that because it would be more interesting if this was actually a fight. <laughs> ah, screw it. We'll play on. It'll be a quick war. <laughs> uh, let's merge you guys together into one. Because the CNT FAI could do a counterattack here and actually take a fairly significant amount of territory. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, no, we want all of you in there. Off you go. And we can no longer assassinate the Crown Prince. Oddly enough. 
And we have a bunch more factories which we are going to put to making guns. And in fact, we stole a bunch of guns. So we can actually start training some. Um... You are exactly the same as what I have already. I don't really want militia. And you with the light tanks. I'll keep you for now. I Am I producing any artillery? In fact, what I can do is I can start producing artillery. Because I have loads of guns already. So let's start producing artillery. Let's start producing support equipment. And drop those down. That's better. I'm going to edit you. And make you the Death's Helmet thing. Okay, good. Call me once. <laughs> it was the Inquisition. No one saw it coming. The power of King Mordred unveiled. <laughs> Portugal supports us. Portugal has decided to support our cause in the Civil War. They sent soldiers and supplies to support us in the struggle. Excellent. Portuguese assistance with infantry equipment, production costs, division organization, max planning, max planning speed. Cool. So do the CNT FAI actually stand any chance? They do have a lot of divisions. In fact, they probably outnumber us at least two to one. But there will be militia. And they have at least managed to fortify their entire border. So there is that. Congratulations. Foundation of the Belgrade Pact. But they are letting me dig in, so I'm perfectly happy sitting here, because I'm fairly confident, yeah, <laughs> that I have more factories than they do. I have a lot more factories than they do, and in fact, one thing I can do is reduce the amount of these I'm producing and then continue building roads in Madrid. And we'll get our economic uh, system back up and running. Yeah, the CNT FAI will eventually run out of supplies, that is true. Especially if they actually attack me. I am perfectly happy to let them attack me. They're attacking into the mountains, I've got the uh, entrenchment bonus already, thank you very much for that. And a level 4 general, or field marshal, to fight them off with. Good luck with that. Do I capture any planes? I... Did. Not many, but enough. So let's get you guys in the air. Let's get you guys in the air. And let's get... No, I'm not going to use the strategic bombers. You two flying here. You are close air support. You are air superiority. Austria already beat Hungary. Impressive. Yeah, I'm just going to let them bleed. Train more divisions. I could do... I probably should. 21, 22. Okay, we're out of stuff after that. We'll build four more. That'll be sufficient. Because we're simply going to outproduce them. The commie farmers are attacking. What will we do? Fall of Washington? Yeah, the American Civil War didn't quite go that quickly. I still can't believe they just let me walk into Madrid. That was silly. Oh no, the enemy is adjacent to our capital. I know, let's abandon it. Especially when we're sitting on 10% national unity. Kingdom of Italy supports us with additional supplies and stuff like that. Excellent. And more manpower. Yeah, that is something we are somewhat short on. Poland declared one Lithuania. I'm definitely okay with them just wasting themselves against my line. I mean, there's a couple of places where I could start making a push. 
Right there, for instance. I'm also going to keep an eye on this line. Start some counterattacks going. This is something that they seem to have changed, where you can actually launch counterattacks now into someone attacking you, which is pretty nice. Here we go, pushing forwards, pushing forwards. And they're already running low on supplies in some of their units. Oh, we broke through, um, but they could easily cut me off here. Well, let's make sure that doesn't happen then, shall we? I have enough supplies and equipment. Yeah. I got tons when I took out Spain. You quickly put out one submarine, you can do a sick invasion from Valeric. I don't think I really need to. Austria deserves a tree in vanilla. Austria has a tree in vanilla. Oh no, that's Hungary. Yeah, never mind. If you play as Hungary, you can reform the Austro-Hungarian Empire with Death of Dishonor. It's one of the few interesting things about that. Um... Uh, We're doing just fine in every single position here. You're suffering quite a lot of attacks, but that's okay. Kind of wish it was the guy in Valencia that was attacking me, because then I could really cut them off. Oh, it's paused. That would explain why nothing was happening. going here. You're pushing into there. Excellent. You're being attacked, but that's fine. I mean, as we're pushing the lion closer here, we should be able to send some more troops into the uh, middle area. About to beat that fight. In fact, because you're attacking me, we won't be able to move into here immediately, which is unfortunate. And they could definitely get some pretty nasty surrounds. How do I tell a unit to support an attack? So you click on the unit, you hold down control, and then you right click on the actual combat information. So for example, if I wanted to support this attack with this guy, I click on this guy, hold down control, then right click on that. Except because he's being attacked, he can't do it. Uh, this guy, however, could. So clicking on him, holding down control, right click on that, and then you have this blue icon with the sword instead of the movement. And that is a support attack. Mordred wins without losing a single province. Quite possibly. <laughs> this has been rather easier than I'd expected. Thus far. In kind of a crazy what the hell are you doing, you stupid AI type of way. The AI really makes some questionable decisions. Mexico has declared we're on the Pacific States. Uh, we might be able to take Zaragoza. What is your national unity? 50%. So you will be somewhat harder to take out than Spain was. You lot can all attack into there. I really want to go and support this guy, but I don't think I really can. Actually, yeah, uh, we'll take a risk. Move him in. As soon as he's entered the fight, we'll cycle this guy out. So we'll click on these guys. We'll have a look at the one with very little organization. We'll wait until the two divisions are actually... Okay, they're in defense. And then we'll grab you and just withdraw you and then you're holding that on your own meaning that this guy can regain his organization marvelous right, the attack on Zaragoza is not going anywhere nationalist France supports us more manpower 
1,500 infantry equipment, and also loads of bonuses to the production of said equipment. In before Mordred resubjugates Mexico and California. That's not a bad idea. Recreate the Spanish Empire. I quite like that idea. I mean, that's more of a Kingdom of Spain thing to do, because that's what Alfonso was actually attempting to, to achieve. But I am sure that Javier can do the same. Speed 4. We can just definitely let things move on. Uh, you might be in a bit of trouble there. You are holding out just fine now. I'm going to wait until this guy has lower organization, then we'll attack into him. This pocket's definitely getting thinner and thinner, though I'd really like to cut off Valencia. Germany took out Poland, so I guess Germany allied with Lithuania. You might be about to lose here, buddy. You're getting a lot of experience, though. In fact, all of these units should get a fair amount. We have 160 artillery. So if we were, theoretically, to give all of these guys support artillery, how much would that cost? Rather more than we have. That's fine, we'll wait. The people will throw out the monarchy like we did in France. The revolution will be swift with no mercy for the monarchs who consider themselves above the people. Uh, one thing I can actually do is I can get the division... No, not the threes. This isn't a three, this is going to be... Tanks. Gonna get rid of the Organica. The Organica, I guess, just means infantry. So this is just gonna be division tanks. Whoops, that didn't rename. Whoops. In fact, we're just gonna call it the Organica tanks. Sure, why not? And the Organica 2. Rename. I'm gonna give you a new crest, which is gonna be the exploding artillery shell, which has the support artillery, and then what we can do is we can just select some of our more elite units here and give you the upgrade to the Organica 2s. 96 artillery, we can actually get a little bit more than that. And this will make our divisions even stronger. So let's grab you two, Organica 2. Uh, I think we'll be a slight shortage of artillery. But that's fine, that's going to give us a bunch more soft attack, which against the high infantry and militia portions of the enemy is going to be quite effective. Did I ever play as a Central American country in Kaiserreich? No, I haven't. Bandana, hello. Gupil Sonoy. Hello. Sorry, Bobby, I don't speak French. Right, how's the war going? Oh no, they pushed me! No! Oh! Unacceptable! I think this is actually one of the territories I took from them. Oh no, they pushed me again! What's happening? I look away for a minute. And what happens? Well, the attacks in the south are going pretty nicely. Ooh, hello. Oh, you pushed me out of this province. That's annoying. You stay here. And then attack that. You push forwards here. Like, my troops are a lot stronger and more well equipped, I think. Syndicalism spreads to Burma. You immediately got attacked there, that's unfortunate. Uh, I can't get you to support the attack now, damn it. Oh, you're about to get pushed out. Let's do a counter-attack into Zaragoza to make sure that they can't then move into there. Because if they're being attacked, then they are pinned. You can move up. And in fact, you're about to take that province. Let's see if we can get a cutoff down here. You go and pin them. 
You get there, you're attacking into me. That's fine. I just need to take Valencia and I can get a massive cutoff. Which would be very, very nice. We speak to you here. 